Father. Thank you, Father. Let's lift our hands to the Almighty God and bless Him one more time. Give Him glory, give Him honor, give Him adoration, bless His holy name. He's worthy to be praised. Let's, let's praise Him. Let's give Him glory, give Him honor, give Him adoration. Bless the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Worship Him. There's no one like Him. He is the Almighty God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Amen. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. Amen. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you Father, we give you all the glory, we give you all the honor, we give you adoration, Lord. Please accept our worship in Jesus' name. Father, we know you always reserve the best to the last. Tonight, Father, give us your best. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. And let someone shout hallelujah. Well, shake hand with one or two people and say, get ready for your best. And then you may please be seated. Today, God added two additional children to us. <laughs> and both of them are boys. <laughs> ah, so the total now stands at 20, 15 boys, and five girls. <laughs> I think the boys should jump on their feet and shout, Praise the Lord. <laughs> and then let the girl shout hallelujah <laughs> oh lord the lord is very very good to us first corinthians chapter 11 from verse 23 to 26 1 Corinthians 11, 23 to 26. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. 
And when he had given thanks, he break it and said, Take it. This is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup when he had sobbed, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as soft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. One of my boys speaking on Thursday said that the greatest of all breakthroughs was the one that the Lord Jesus Christ had. I said, oh boy, how right you are. But for Jesus Christ, there be no salvation. Without him, we can't even be talking about healing. Without him, we can't talk about deliverance. Without him, we can't really talk about heavenly prosperity. Without him, we can't be talking about hope of glory. Without him, we can't be talking about getting out of this world soon to go and reign forever with the Almighty God. I think somebody should shout hallelujah. One very interesting thing about the breakthrough of the Almighty God is this. Anybody can praise God and celebrate after a victory, after a breakthrough. And I'm going to encourage all of us after this uh, special Holy Ghost service then to go home and celebrate. Because without any doubt you have something to celebrate about i mean like i told us on the first sunday of this year if nobody celebrates you celebrate yourself mm. celebrate yourself Because they may not know what you know. They may not see what is about to begin to happen in your life. So just celebrate yourself. Maybe you can tell two or three people straight away, celebrate me now. I've just got my breakthroughs. Huh? Uh -uh. <laughs> celebrate me. I've, I've got things, my breakthroughs. Celebrate me. <laughs> Get home and celebrate. Like I said, <laughs> Like I said in January, even if it is with body, celebrate yourself. <laughs> celebrate. Anybody can celebrate after a breakthrough. Anybody can praise God after a miracle. It takes the purest kind of faith to praise God before you see the miracle. It was great faith that caused Joshua and Israel to shout before the wall fell.
The greatest lesson to learn from the breakthroughs of our Lord Jesus Christ is that he celebrated before the breakthrough came. The Bible says the very night before he was betrayed, because his own breakthrough came at the cross. Oh, many of us think the breakthrough came on the resurrection morning. Mm -mm. If he had not died on the cross, there would be no, nothing to resurrect. It was on the cross when he died that he got his breakthrough. When you read Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5 to 11, Philippians 2 from verse 5 to 11, the Bible made it clear. It was after he became obedient unto death that the father picked him up from there and highly exalted him and gave him a name that's above every other name. <laughs> it was at the cross that he defeated Satan. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 14. It was, Hebrews 2 verse 14. It was through death that he defeated the one who had the power of death. That's Satan. It was when he died that according to Colossians chapter 2 from verse 13 to 15, Colossians 2 from verse 13 to 15, it was when he died that he spoiled all principalities and powers, making a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. Because when he died and he went to uh, the place of death, the devil was rejoicing. The demons were rejoicing. They thought, at long last, we got him. But it was down there that he grabbed the keys of hell and of death from Satan. It was from there that he erupted like a volcano that he came and said, now, all those who believe in me will live forever. It was because he died that he could now say, by my stripes, you were healed. It was because he died, because he shed his blood, that we can now say, we overcome the devil by the blood of the Lamb. It was because he died that today he seated above all principalities, far above. That he can now say all evil forces are under my feet. And because we are part and parcel of him, if all the principalities and powers are under his feet, they are under our feet also. So if you pay attention to that passage, the text we read, 
He says, as often as you do this, you are practically celebrating the death of the Lord Jesus Christ till he comes. He didn't say you are celebrating the Lord's resurrection. The resurrection followed after the death. So whenever you come to the Holy Communion service, Jesus Christ is simply saying, I have gotten the greatest of all breakthroughs. Come and celebrate with me. He is simply saying the evidence of my unique breakthrough is that my body was broken and my blood was shed. So he says, come, take, eat. This is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me, in remembrance of my breakthrough. Take, drink, this is my body shed for you. Do this in remembrance of me. So the only communion service is a celebration meal. A meal of rejoicing, a meal of victory, a meal of triumph. So we are gathered together tonight to celebrate not just our own breakthroughs, but the greatest breakthroughs of all, that of our master. One of these days, I will show you step by step that the very first Holy Communion service, if we want to call it that, that happened in Egypt when the children of Israel had their own major breakthrough. It was not a meal of sorrow. If somebody tells you that your problems of 430 years will be over tonight. You will not be sad. When the children of Israel knew that by the time they finished a particular meal, there had been no more bondage. There had been nobody beating them without anybody stopping those people. There had been no more laboring without pay. There had been no more feeble ones among them that before that night is out, they will take the salaries that the Egyptians owed their forefathers for more than 400 years. It was not a meal of sorrow. So tonight, we want to celebrate our breakthroughs. And that of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we are not, nobody is allowed to be sorrowful tonight. Tonight is to be a night of extreme rejoicing. A night of singing, a night of dancing, a night of jumping, 
a night of clapping, a night of shouting. And then you say, okay, daddy, we got that one. Thank you for revealing it to us. Why the anointing service? Oh, very simple. Ephesians 4 verse 30. Ephesians 4 verse 30 says, You are sealed with the seal of the Holy Spirit of God. The anointing service of tonight is to seal your breakthroughs. So that nobody can ever steal them from you. I come in the name of the Almighty God to tell you the blessings of this weekend, they are going to last you forever. So that calls for double celebration. Or shall I call it triple celebration? <laughs> celebration number one, you are celebrating the breakthroughs of the Lord Jesus Christ. Celebration number two, you are celebrating your own breakthroughs. Celebration number three, you are celebrating the fact that the Holy Spirit is going to seal your breakthroughs. That is why I had, I had, every time I had the opportunity to serve you through the Holy Communion, I have warned you, this is not an ordinary meal. Don't partake of this meal if you are not a child of God. He shed his blood for your salvation. It was bruised for your iniquities. It is by his stripe you are healed. And all these are for those who have been washed in the blood of the Lamb. So if it, just in case, just in case, there's a, any person, you might be the only one fellow, there's still not yet washed in that blood, not yet saved please run forward we we don't have time to waste tonight we want to celebrate so if you want to join in our celebration you must first of all give your life to jesus christ so i'm going to count from one to five that tells you you have to really move fast if you have not yet given your life to jesus christ and you want to do so now, run forward as I begin to count. One. Two. Three.
Okay, those of you who have already come and those who are on the way, talk to God tonight and say, please, Lord, save my soul. I want to be one of your children. Forgive all my sins, Lord. Let your blood wash away my sins. Receive me into the family of God. I want you to be my Lord. I want you to be my Savior. I will serve you for the rest of my life. Call on him. And the rest of us, please let's stretch our hands towards these people and just ask the Almighty God to be merciful unto them. Save their souls like he has saved our own. And receive them into the family of God. Pray for them for just one more minute. Thank you, Father. Oh, glory be to God. Hurry up if we are still coming because I want to pray for salvation now. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Savior, we want to say thank you. Thank you for your word again. And thank you for these people who have decided to surrender their life to you now. Father, please receive them, have mercy on them, save their souls, let your blood wash away their sins, receive them into the family of God, and from now on, Lord, let them serve you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, I want to rejoice with those of you who have come forward. Uh, I want to assure you from now on I'll be praying for you uh, I believe the counselors are at hand okay uh, they, are, they are waiting for you if you turn to your left you see somebody holding a placard follow him he will take you to where counselors are waiting they will collect the information I need from you and then they bring you back very quickly God bless you you can begin to go you can begin to go. Now, if we are clapping, let's do it very well. Thank you, Father. Well, keep clapping, keep clapping. They are more than I think. Keep clapping. Thank you, Father. Amen. So tonight, as we partake of the bread and of the wine, let the joy of the Lord erupt in your heart. You know, the Bible says the joy of the Lord is your strength. You'll be amazed at what joy can do. And we are celebrating tonight. So as you are eating the bread, do it joyfully, knowing that you already got your breakthrough. When I saw that young man from Chad dancing, I, I wanted to dance with him. <laughs> it's just that wisdom says you better take it gently. You are 81 now. Somebody is going to dance more like that tonight. Because you are going to celebrate your healing. And then, when it is time to drink the wine, well, I will tell you again why we will be celebrating. As soon as they serve you with the bread, you just take it and just keep on thanking God. Thank you for giving me physical 
breakthrough. Thank you for making me whole. I'm celebrating my healing. And when they serve you the wine, you hold on to it. See, we have all been served so that we can drink together as one. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Amen. The Lord Jesus, the very night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he has given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Give you glory, we give you glory. 
everlasting Father. Jehovah Jireh, our great provider. You are wonderful. You are worthy, Jesus. Everlasting Father, Lord and Master. Father, you are, you are worthy, you are wonderful, you are worthy, Jesus. Rain, Jesus, rain.
If you have not been served bread, you are the only one to shout hallelujah. Okay, if you have not been served wine, uh, in the old auditorium, you wave your hand to me so I can see you. But if you have not been served the wine, then wave your hand and shout hallelujah. If I've not been served wine, I think I can hear about two people to my extreme left. Uh, so you, you probably come forward if, if you have not been served wine to come and take your wine. What about in the old auditorium? Television people, show me the old auditorium, please. All right, if I've not been served wine, in the old auditorium, wave your hand and shout hallelujah. All right. Now, when we drink the wine, we're just going to ask that God will fill our hearts with joy. We want, we want the joy of the Lord to fill us overflowing tonight. After the same manner also he took the cup when he has sobbed, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. Feel me to overflowing with your joy. The joy of the Lord the joy of the Holy Spirit. Fill me to overflowing with your joy. Almighty God, fill me to overflowing with the joy of heaven. That joy that comes only from the Lord. Father, fill me to overflowing with your joy, Lord. That joy that even the earth cannot conceive. Joy unspeakable. Joy full of glory. Father, please fill me with your joy. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Thank you, Savior. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. 
Whatever may remain that is causing you sorrow is gone tonight. And so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Well, let's, let's remain seated, pass the cups to the aisles, um, and get ready for the anointing service. The ushers will please help us collect the cups and bring them forward. And as soon as we get the oil ready, the men of God will come and line up in front of you. And you go to the nearest one and you get anointed. And then we'll begin serious celebration. In the meantime, thank you very much, uh, choir. You've been doing a good work. Keep on worshiping God as we get ready. Jesus is Alpha, Alpha and Omega. Jesus is Alpha, Alpha and Omega. So I praise Him for His Alpha.
worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. My redeemer, you are worthy to be praised. You are.
Thank you very much. Now, if you have not been anointed, you are the only one to shout hallelujah. Okay. For the next five minutes, I'm going to ask you to show the Almighty God that you believe Him, that your breakthrough is going to be permanent. that no force is going to be able to steal your blessing. And the way you show him is by dancing. So for the next five minutes, you dance, you clap, you shake hands, you rejoice. So, uh, I hope we we'll get the band to please give us danceable music. One that uh, even elders can dance to. Uh -huh. So, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I never see this kind of God before. Wonder, 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 wonder. I never see this kind of God before. Wonder, 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 wonder. I never see this kind of God before. Wonder, wonder.
Aleluya. <risa> Aleluya. Aleluya. In the name of the one who made heaven and earth, for the rest of your life, you will be dancing for joy. Well, uh, let's just take our Thanksgiving offering and then continue with our dancing as we, as we drop this in the baskets before the final closing prayer. Thank you, band. You're doing a very good job. You're doing very fine. Let's go ahead, take our Thanksgiving offering and just dance on your own to the nearest basket and drop it. Over to you.
Thank you, Father. Now that the oil of joy and anointing is flowing so freely, I want you to prophesy to your own future. Open your mouth and say some good things that will begin to happen to you from now on. Mention your name and say in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Adeboye, you'll be moving from glory to glory to glory. Adeboye, you'll be moving from breakthroughs to breakthroughs to breakthroughs to breakthroughs. Adeboye, your joy will continue to overflow. Your anointing will never run dry. Adeboye is going to be well with you in every facet of your life. Adeboye, any time you pray, even before you finish praying, the answer will come. Adeboye, by this time next year, God will have taken you to heights you never dreamt possible. Adeboye, it's going to be well with you, it's going to be well with every member of your family, biological, every member of your family, spiritual. Go ahead, say good things to your future. Oh Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you, because I know that my breakthroughs will be permanent. That my joy will never cease. No more aches, no more pain. I will live in joy. I will live in divine health for the rest of my life. Oh, the world will hear about your goodness and mercy in my life and the world will be afraid of me because they know my God is wonderful. That is the God of mighty breakthroughs. That God has done wondrous things for me beyond human expectations. Oh yes, I do believe it's just going to be well with you every day, every night. When you come in, it will be well with you. When you go out, it will be well with you. You just be going from one level of glory to a higher level of glory. God will move you every day to higher levels of anointing, of joy, of success, of progress, of miracles, of signs, of wonders. Oh yes, you're not going to fail. You're not going to get weaker. You're going to get stronger day by day. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prophesied. My Father, my God, thank you. Ah, what a great God you are. Thank you. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Even as your children have prophesied, so let it be. Because it is in your word. You said it. You said, as we have spoken in your ears, so will you do unto us. As your children have prophesied, so let it be. It is for you they were dancing. Please, Lord, don't let the dancing ever stop. And all the legs that have danced for you tonight. Father, I pray they will never, never wither. All the hands that have clapped for you tonight, I pray they will never wither.
all the mouths that have shouted in your praise. We never mourn. And all those who have given you their thanksgiving offering tonight, my Father, my God, I pray they will never lack. Father, bless the offering. Receive it. Sanctify it. Use it for your glory. And I pray, Lord God Almighty, that even as your children will be going home, you will go with them. That on their ways, there will be miracles. At home, miracles will be waiting for them. That our breakthroughs, Lord, will be permanent. And the bigger breakthroughs, we begin to come every day. And once again, my Father and my God, I humbly request from you that between now and next year, your children would have had at least 81 breakthroughs. Thank you, Almighty God. And if we return before next year, please don't leave us behind. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Well, uh, the special Holy Ghost service is over, but uh, <laughs> the God of Breakthroughs is still on his throne. And you can go home rejoicing, dancing. Um, for those of you who have to go to your various churches tomorrow morning, over there, I believe you should do a thanksgiving in the church tomorrow just to praise the Almighty God for what he had done. For those of us who are going to be around, we can come here and do our own Thanksgiving service here by, I think, 7 o'clock in the morning. There will be divine encounter on Monday as well as Shiloh hour. And all pastors, you are free to go home from here now. But I'm going to ask somebody to do something. Based on a story you have heard before, the story of a woman who was sick, very wealthy woman, who was sick and uh, they did x-ray, they did MRI, they did everything, they couldn't find what was wrong. Finally, she came to a Buddha Meta. And God simply said that everybody will, should shout hallelujah. And I see. <laughs> that's all right. And that's all right. And, and, and as she, she, shout, she shouted, she vomited a worm that had been causing her all these problems. Everything that may be in your system or even in your home, your place of work, in your ministry that have been causing you problem. During the next shout, every one of them will get out.
So go, go ahead and shout it. The biggest hallelujah you can shout. Oh, 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 oh. 